So yeah guys, that's why zombies are canonical to Roblox Jailbreak. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Yeah! Yes, I know it's been I'm about to make a name for myself. All right, while I make my avatar only using free items with no Robux spent, I'm going to explain how this challenge is going to work. I have one week to play Jailbreak, that is seven days, with no Robux spent. No game passes, no buying cash, no nothing. Basically, we're going to try and get the successor vehicle by the end of the game. I picked that because I believe it's the best supercar that's currently obtainable in the game. The successor is what I want, okay? So stop already typing in the comments, wah, wah, wah. I don't care. Also, this is a challenge for me, okay? People in the No Game Pass series were telling me, hey, this isn't a challenge. I do this every day. I don't care if you do it every day. I'm gonna play without Game Passes, and you're gonna watch it, and you're gonna like it. Okay, little Timmy? You're gonna like it. Anyway, uh, guess what? So in day one, I decided to click Criminal Team. Obviously, this is the most neutral team you can pick. Everybody plays on Criminal when they start playing. So yeah, I started to play this, and then I escaped the prison, as usual, made my way to the city, tried to get myself some guns at the, you know, firing range area. Uh, I got the shotgun and the pistol, as, uh, as those are the only guns I can get. Then I realized something interesting. Uh, you now get like three crates in the game when you start. It used to just be one, and now you get three. So all I got was cosmetics. I didn't get a car or anything, so whatever. Uh, but then I made my way to the dock, went to the oil rig, and uh, made my way up the ladder to find the NPCs there. Uh, I fought them off pretty easily with the gear I had. Kind of surprised me to be honest. I got them, pulled the switch, made my way up the stairs, killed these two NPCs in here. Um, and yeah, this was the only money I could get because I didn't have a key card or a teammate to pull the lever. So yeah, I made my way back down and turned in my money at the, uh, the little bay area. Uh, next thing I decided to do was go to the gas station Rob that and get myself a little soda. I then went for the passenger train as this is a pretty easy robbery. Went in, uh, decided to grab myself a little like 2k in the money because no game passes because we cool like that. And then I uh, went to the criminal base, you know, turned in my money. And I believe here I got an extra 1000, which is pretty good for early on. I decided to check out a house I might want in the future, and then I uh, robbed the jewelry store. I took my belongings back over to the criminal base, turned it in, and actually almost hit it with a hyperchrome level 1. Missed it, and I uh, got arrested by this camping cop, spawned in the high security prison, and you know, I'm cool, so I made it out pretty easy. Next thing you know, I turned in my donut to this little dude in the prison. Got a gas grenade, which isn't useful. Made my way to the Camaro, drove it over to the little hole in the fence, and... I found a crate in the desert, so uh, it's time for... If you want to know how to do the epic crate glitch, just watch this video I made a little while back. It's pretty cool. Anyway, so I decided to switch servers and teams because I was getting bored, and guess what happened? Epic crate glitch. So yeah, I did it again. Got some more money. Can't really complain about that. Uh, yeah, pretty good. Then I found this dude. Stopped him in his, in his purple Lambo. I got him. He's got got it. Uh, with that, I had enough money to buy my first car, so you know how it is. We went for that Model 3. Very, very good first car. Got in, drove it around, decided to give it some customization. Uh, it's pretty freaking ugly, to be honest, so uh, I'm sorry that I did this to your eyes. Anyway... This is gonna get annoying really fast, isn't it? Anyway, I found these campers. I hit them. It was funny. And then I found this dude trying to run from the campers and I arrested him. It was funny. Then this dude, I don't know what this dude was doing, but I mean, he almost got me. We had a pretty good fight and then he uh, he just fell over. I'm gonna be honest. I think I got lucky because watch this. He just, he just, I, he almost kills me and he just slips on a banana peel and then I tase him. Double consecutive tase and I got him. So I got lucky. I got this dude. Uh, $500 then decided to rob the train as a cop, which I don't really do that often. I think you're just like 
taking it so criminals don't take it i don't even know lore lore don't make sense i don't get it but it's okay found these dudes don't know what they were doing this dude in the helicopter shot him down uh two of them in there actually got him i got them i got them i got some money i get back in my car and then yeah i found this one a bit laggy i kind of felt bad for arresting this person to be honest because i could tell they were going through it they looked a little lost in the sauce uh but it was money I had to take it switched the servers again board again went to criminal did the tomb it was pretty epic found some people in this server that were actually pretty cool so i got to play with some of the community just a little bit uh turned in my tomb money very very cool uh didn't get anything but i did get something from yeah, this one was a red crate, so I got a ton from this one. Uh, there were some people around me with torpedoes and stuff. I made sure they still got their fair share of money, but I got a lot of money from this. This really helped me out, especially in this first day. Then I got with the big group once again and decided to rob the cargo plane. Jumped out with my crate as usual and made my way to the cargo bay to turn in my money. Uh, I didn't get anything from this roll. It was pretty lame. Decided to rob the jewelry store again because, you know... Why not? I'm not doing that cool edit again. That was annoying. Lol. I went to go turn in my money. Yay! Money is turned in. Then this was a close call. This was pretty close. But watch this engaging gameplay right here. For the last time in day one, we did the epic crate glitch. So cool, which gave us enough money to buy that level five engine. And day one ended with me riding away into the sunset. Well, kind of a rainy day, but the sunset. Day two was a really good day. It started off with me escaping the prison as usual, getting in the car, heading into the city, and going to customize my car, get guns, all the usual stuff. But um, we did a lot of robberies in the first half of this day and killed a lot of cops to see if we could get their key card. Uh, keep that in mind for later in this day. Uh, so yeah, it was pretty good. We got a lot done and I'm just gonna let the, the footage kind of speak for itself. Enjoy. Just a little bit of input here. We got really close to a lot of hyperchromes on day two for some reason, and we got a duplicate. So good 6,000 cash. Going very good. big goal of day two was to get some gear, so expect to see a lot of me buying things like suspension and other guns.
Why did you do that? As I sit in my cell and contemplated why I'm so bad at this game, I decided to uh, to join the winning team. Yeah, got in this helicopter and did it an epic, uh, e epic. Perfect great glitch. So yeah, I was peacefully doing my crate glitch and it, all, it went really well. It was going cool, and then this happened. And when I tell you, this made me upset. It made me mad. It made me really mad. Like I was, I was. I was Okay, so anyway, yeah, day two was pretty successful overall. Got some more rest, and then decided to do, um, the mansion. Day three started pretty interesting. I got a unique escape from the prison. This dude was just kind of letting me out pretty easy with this. Yeah, so I did the crate thing. You know how it goes. And then I found these people. They were stuck. It was pretty funny. Anyway. Okay, it's getting annoying. We're not going to do that anymore. I'm sick and tired of editing the freaking epic crate glitch. Anyway, I did a lot of robberies. It was pretty cool. I got some money. Of course, the usual, and then I found this guy outside of the prison, he seemed pretty cool, and he said he had a roadster, so I was like, why not? I don't know you, but I'll get in your car, you could probably kidnap me, but it's okay. He brought me to the casino, and we did the casino robbery, but then, um, he decided to leave me. He didn't even, he didn't even come back for me. It was so sad, I was doing this all without him, and then I even got kicked from the game he was in. I just couldn't stand it anymore. I looked at all these bounties and it meant nothing to me. I even got a cool spoiler, but it meant nothing to me. I was in fights with these criminals, but it meant nothing to me. It was so sad. I got so many arrests, but all I could think of was how he left me, how he left me stranded. I was even busting bank robberies and I mean, I never get to do that. But, here I was, sad that he wasn't around. But I decided I was gonna take action. I was gonna beat the CEO. Ended up getting really
really bored by the end of this day. Like, I had nothing to do, so I went to the trading hub because it's not really a rule anymore after the Game Pass series ended. So I was just trying to trade my whole inventory, but nobody was accepting my trades, and it was just not that fun of a day. And I just had better hopes for day four, I guess. At the end of day three, I knew I had to pick some slack up. And by the end of day four, I will have 300k cash. Let's go. I grinded so hard in day four that I have enough money to get the XRK, I think it's called. The, the GTR. I like calling it the GTR. But I can also get the Falcon S, which is half the price, and save the money for the Roadster. So uh, make sure you subscribe for stuff like this. But in my community post, I ask the people, which one should I get? Should I get the XRK or should I get the Falcon S? So by day five, I'll have my answer, and we're going to get that vehicle. Day 5 started like any other day, but the community polls have been answered, so it was time to go get the Falcon S. You guys chose for me to go get the Falcon S, so that's what I went to go get. The rest of the day was just a whole bunch of grinding, and... It honestly started to take a little bit of a toll on me, but the Falcon S made it pretty decent. Very fast car, and yeah, I guess we'll see what happens. Time to grind.
At the end of day five, I realized I'm kind of ready for this series to end. It's It's been pretty hard on me, to be honest. Editing all this and playing every day has been difficult, but I know it's going to be so rewarding on day seven when I finally get that successor. But we only have one day before then we have to go to day six. So I'm starting to see the end of the series. It's day six, and day six was really good. Amazing stuff. We grinded a ton. almost a perfect day ending with over four hundred thousand dollars putting us in a great position to get the successor on day seven <laughs> So, we finally made it to day 7. It's been a long road here, but we got some grinding to do. We still have 250 something to make, and yeah, it's gonna be hard. Honestly, this challenge was getting really hard going into the late hours, but I just had to keep my head up and remember what Volt said. Remember, uh-oh, never back down, never, never give up.
We did it. We did it. We got the successor with no game passes, no Robux spent in a week. So yes, it is possible. I'm not even going to act like it was a challenge because it really wasn't. It was more of a challenge for me because I had to edit everything and I had to sleep and eat and poop and stuff. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this series. It was pretty, honestly, kind of a challenge for me, but it was definitely my biggest project I've ever done on the channel. So if you guys can just leave a like on this video, something as simple as that would help. And maybe subscribing if you haven't already. That would be really, really cool. Thank you guys for watching throughout the week if you have. Or if you're watching the full movie coming out after the seventh day, uh, thank you. Just thank you for the support. Um, love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.